Hey guys, good morning. So this is gonna be a little different than a normal video. I'm not where I normally would be when filming an intro, um, but I'm actually really excited because this is a project that has been way overdue. About a year ago, Romeo and I, with all of our businesses and everything going on and the products that we have and the thrifting that we do, we actually ended up getting a storage unit. It's not too far from my house. It's not small, but it's not like huge, but it was basically a place for us to take that stuff so it just wasn't piling up in our house. Well, when we first got it, there was just a few things in there, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. Then it started piling and piling and piling and now it is just out of control. It's been on my list for a major project to go in there, organize it, make it so that I can go in there and actually shop my own stuff and shop my storage unit when we're doing new projects, when I'm doing new makeovers so that I can see all of the decor that I've thrifted and had maybe pulled out of my own house that I can reuse. One of the major things that I wanted to do in here is create this organization storage shelf wall. Um, so I wanted originally to thrift a whole bunch of bookcases maybe, but of course, whenever you're looking for something, you can never find it. When you're not looking for it, they're everywhere. So I headed to Ikea and I was looking at all of their different storage solutions just for like outdoor or garage type things and I came across the wooden shelves that I've actually used before it's called the Hain and they're a great price and they can actually be hooked together to create like a long unit so that was gonna definitely work well in this space I also picked up some of the clear storage bins that Ikea has um, because I really like that you can obviously see through them and I needed some extra ones for all of the Christmas decor that I'm gonna be packing away and moving back to the storage unit Romeo's gonna come and help me it's a holiday i'm anticipating there being no people there so we can make a mess in the hallways and just move it all back in because there's rarely anyone in our storage unit so we will see you guys there hey! jug that I got at the thrift store was. It was 50% off of $5.99. Ah, I'm always looking for jugs. Great thing is, no one's here. All the lights are off. We're gonna be safe. It's time. This, oh my. Yep, it's time. We have the new cabinets that we're gonna build in here, but first thing we have to do is get it all out. Luckily, there's no one here so that we can just start piling stuff and then we can organize it and put it all back in. I remember when we got it, it was like, oh wow, this could fit a lot. We didn't have a lot at the time. I think it's cleaned out enough to where we can, so we don't want to put everything in the hallway. So we're going to start building the storage unit and it's going to go with the entire width of this wall so that I could start putting things outside of boxes just on the storage shelves so that I could see it and we could come in here and I can actually know what's here. So we're going to do three units, so 90 inches deep. Did not bring scissors. That was our first mistake. And then I, I should have turned around and got oh. my drill. Are you okay? Splinter. Should have turned around and got my drill too. So we didn't really come prepared for this adventure. What we can do? 
<laughs> we did it. Originally, I was gonna put it on this side because it's a little deeper, but this side actually has these pieces here that I could actually bungee cord it to. Just for like extra stability, I feel like that's, but it does fit on the side better. Maybe we can find a different solution. I really don't think that it will tip once stuff is already on it. So I think we're gonna put it on this side. Okay, I changed my mind again. So I do think that it's gonna be more stable if I can bungee cord it to this back bar back here. So moved it to the other side. And then these are in tables that I wanna use in a future project. I'm not, they're so good. I don't wanna get rid of them. So we're just gonna keep them back here for now and use them for extra storage. So now it's time to organize this stuff. I definitely wanna move these macrame pieces and then start putting, even though I don't have the bungee cords yet, I think it's gonna be okay for at least a day until I can get back over here. We're gonna put some lamps, anything tall, flowers, everything on top, and then kind of just organize everything else, like vases and other just like finds that I found and kind of organize it to where I can actually see it. I think these are Romeos. Maybe we could use them in some way to help organize some things. Maybe like on these smaller shelves, we could put some stuff in there. I want to keep light things together so like vases and then all the glass together and then all the brass candles you know I'm gonna have a lot of brass candle holders and then all of like the wooden pieces maybe you can stack here what you find that you have I mean I do remember all this stuff but like what is this ring toss <laughs> is it ring toss or, no, or, I don't know. or vases oh my new one yay I can go here a lot of this stuff I'll go through and like eventually like okay am I gonna use this am I not gonna use this kind of thing all of these like agate pieces and coasters, like all of this stuff together, like with some other like marble pieces and some seashells so that I'll know that they're in there. I found this at a thrift store. It's like one of those puzzles that you kind of figure out. I thought this would be so cute in like a nursery if I ever did one of those. All the wood pieces. This is kind of making me very happy. <laughs> like having everything organized is huge. I've got baskets up there for now since they're light. I even have so many hammocks because I had a booth that I sold some like custom bags that I had made and I had these pretty hammocks in the booth and I've got all like a chair hammock for you know future pop-ups that we're gonna do. I got these two when Pier 1 was going out of business. I got two of these guys on clearance for half off of $5.98. I felt like they could be a cool shape if I was doing a style Obviously not for my house, but like something like that. So I forgot I had them, but now I do. <laughs> Pillows. Pillow inserts that are still covered. So put these down here. So in the back corner back here, I'm gonna do everything that's like weird, like curtain rods, pieces of wood like this, everything that's kind of tall. 
and when I'm ever gonna use her again, no idea. She's sentimental to me. I used her all throughout college. Next plan of attack, getting this dresser that I thrift flipped back into here because it's also great for storage. So I, I've never been able to access the drawers before, but now with more room, you can. So I could use all the drawers and then we could put stuff on top. I think this is fine. I mean, I can still access this. I'll still be able to get in here. I'll still be able to come back here and look to see what I have a lot better than I could before. I feel like we made some major progress today, but I need to bring the Christmas stuff in here. I went back home and got all the Christmas stuff. I still can't believe that all of this stuff that we put on the cabinets was all in boxes in here. I also picked up some of these S hooks that I had at the house and I wanted to hang the macrame pieces kind of like over here so that they're not all hanging off of the sprinkler. This is like kind of hard, you guys. How do you make a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't work together, that's not the same size, that's weird and all different, actually fit into a space like this? But I think we're making progress. First, I'm gonna grab these macrame pieces up here. I couldn't reach them before because I didn't have this cabinet in here, so I couldn't stand on anything. can use these S hooks and then just hook them up at the top. And then these vases with flowers can be tall up here and fit better because those macrames were kind of like in the way. I have these two Christmas plants that I put on the porch. Oh, I thought they were so pretty. I was kind of sad taking all the Christmas stuff down, you guys, because, you know, it's just so cozy and festive and feeling good, but I was ready to start the new year. We could put these up here too. So I was thinking of putting the Christmas tree boxes, the clear boxes, just all stacked right here. Ideally, I'd want them further back or I could slide this down a little bit and put them back there so that I could access this. Maybe that works? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I think they might fit back there. Oh yeah. Okay, see that might be better. <laughs> then they won't be like in the front and but we can still like fix them. sweating. I did it. I got the Christmas tree back there and then all of the clear containers all stacked on top of each other. So all the clear containers that are in here, obviously you can see in them, so I decided not to label them, but they're all Christmas. I don't have any other clear containers except for this top one. It's fabric and I can see that. So, oh my gosh, I gotta take a break. <laughs> I also have this coffee table that I found on Facebook Marketplace that I thought was gonna work in a room and then didn't, but it's a really cool coffee table. It was just too small, so. Honestly, what makes most sense is for me to take it apart. I knew I should have brought my drill. Just take the legs off, and then I'll be able to store it better. On top of this dresser, I have a few pieces of art at home um, that I need to bring here, and I wanna be able to put and lean art on this thing. So, this is what I have so far. Camping chairs is always something we have to dig for, so so I'm just gonna put them right here. Not that we've been using them a lot recently, but you guys, I think we I think we did it. This is the only thing that I didn't do, and I do really want to. I want to break it down. I think that makes most sense. So oh, let me give you a little, a little tour, and then I'll come back. I'll put the coffee table in here for now, and then I'll come back and redo it later. Welcome to my storage tour. Uh, I almost said storage wars, like that show. So on the top shelf, I've got everything tall. So I've got lamps, flowers, 
Christmas decorations just up high. I kept the whole front shelf empty because I feel like when I come here and I want to put things on the shelves, that's kind of how I'll access it. On this whole shelving unit, I just have some kind of random dishes and trays and thrift flips that I've done and then some books. I want to keep books here um, that maybe I filtered out of my own house that I can use in future room makeovers and then in the middle shelf i've got a lot of vases well when i was doing all of the baking soda paint mixture i was kind of collecting really good shaped vases that weren't so cute to begin with that we were going to do it with ended up with a collection of other ones that i could potentially do in specific colors for future makeovers so and then all small glass ones in this little container and in the rest of these i have like frames and little pouches that I brought back from the Philippines and other thrift flips that I've done. And then in this container, I have like all of like marble quartz shell type things. I felt like that was kind of the same. Up here is where I wanna put some of my more special things. It's like my brass candle holders that have some more in the house that I need to bring here. This one that I just found, but it's super cute. And then on the last shelf, I've got all of my wooden pieces, bowls and wall hangings and bookends. And then the rest of it is all pillows and throws. And these are from various projects, pulled from various room makeovers and stuff like that, and then extra pillow inserts. In the back back here is just tall things. I've got like the copper ladder that I did one time that'll be perfect for a future pop-up shop to hold like blankets and stuff. Some hammocks, some hammock chairs back here, wrapping paper, crutches when Romeo sprained his ankle, got crutches, and then my fitum dress form. And then my box of rental things that I need to replace in the house when we move out. Christmas tree, Christmas decor, extra storage bins dresser that i did that i've actually used as storage as well boxes from ikea in here and like lighting equipment for that i that i don't use regularly we just brought here and then i want to use this for all of my like wall art so i put wall art up here i put my christmas wreaths up and i'll put more wall art as i bring them from the house i think we did it did we do it i think i hope this was entertaining i mean it was definitely therapeutic for me now i know what is in here i can see everything i could all of this stuff was in boxes so i'll be bringing stuff probably frequently as i style the house i hope you guys enjoyed organizing with this with me i've got something very um special coming up this month that you're not gonna want to miss so if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys next week bye guys oh my gosh i almost knocked you over <laughs>